Hi, and very welcome to the 12th episode of Organized Events 101. My name is Sam, and this is the third episode in our series about leadership. Since I started the podcast, I've been experimenting with different settings, different microphones, etc. And this episode, I'm trying to record outside. So let's see how that goes. Last time, I told you about my colleague David and his three principles for leadership. And the first of the principles, which is called Robin is not a leader. This episode will go in a little bit different direction and talk about my favorite superhero of all time, Peter Parker, also known as Spider-Man, and David's second principle, Spider-Man has got it right. The story about Spider-Man goes like this. In high school, a radioactive spider bites Peter, which gives him superhuman powers. Creating the costumed identity Spider-Man for himself, Peter sought first to exploit his newfound powers as a masked wrestler and then as a television star. One night, coming from a television appearance, Spider-Man sees a burglar being chased by a security guard. The guard called for Spider-Man to stop the thief, but Spider-Man replies that catching criminals was not his responsibility and the burglar gets away. When Peter later returns home that night, a police officer tells him that his beloved Uncle Ben was killed that night by a burglar. Outraged, Peter grabs his Spider-Man costume and goes into the night and later catches the thief, only to find out that the man is the same as he could have easily catched outside of the television studio. As a result, Peter considers himself morally responsible for Uncle Ben's death and resolves to fight crime as a superhero, realizing that with great power comes great responsibility. This quote, with great power comes great responsibility, is not only from Spider-Man. It has actually been quoted in the Supreme Court of the United States and have been said many times throughout history. In 1817, a member of the British Parliament is recorded saying, the position of great power necessarily implies great responsibility. In 1906, the Undersecretary of the Colonial Office, Winston Churchill, said, where there is great power, there is great responsibility. And even Jesus said something in that line in the Gospel of Luke, everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required. So there is a lot of truth to that quote. You as a leader has great power, and with that power should follow a great sense of responsibility. If anything goes wrong in your group, for example, if one of your subordinates messes up, that is your fault. You as a leader have probably recruited them, gave them directives, and is essentially responsible for getting the task done. So blaming on your subordinates if something fails will not help you, and will not change the fact that you have failed. I often tell my organizers that if something goes wrong at Narcon, that is my responsibility. Even if one of my over 800 volunteers have messed up, that is my fault. I have recruited the committee members, who have recruited the organizers, who have recruited the volunteers. And it is I who have formed the organization, and I have educated those below me. As a leader, I believe that it is essential to have a great sense of responsibility, and a feeling of ownership to do a great job. So take responsibility over your organization's failures and do your best to make sure that they doesn't happen. And the reverse is also true. If you and your organization instead succeeds, praise should go downwards to your committee members, to your organizers, and last but not least to your volunteers. Take responsibility for failures, but be sure to praise your co-workers and subordinates when you succeed. That is the best way, according to me, to act as a leader. To summarize, In an organization, responsibility should go upwards and praise should go downwards. With great power comes great responsibility and you have to feel ownership of your event. But do not miss any chance to give credit and praise to your subordinates. If you are the top of your organization, you will also be prepared to not receive any praise, since you don't have any person leading you. The position of leadership is sometimes filled with a lot of ingratitude, and that isn't necessarily wrong you have to learn to pat yourself on your shoulders. Your goal should always be about accomplishing your goals, your event, take care of your subordinates, educate them, lead them, and praise them. Spider-Man has got it right, and you should follow his example. Thank you for listening. Be sure to like and subscribe, and of course, tune in next time for our next episode about leadership. If you want to reach me, my email address is, as usual, podcast at narcon.se. This is Organize Events 101 by Narcon, and my name is Sam.